Now let's discuss some of the important concepts dilute and concentrated solutions. Concentration of a solution is the amount of solute dissolved in a given amount of solvent. Look at this picture. In the first picture you can find more amount of solute completely dissolves in solvent. So this is considered as concentrated solution. In second picture less amount of solute dissolves in solvent. So this is dilute solution. So a solution containing less amount amount of solute is known as dilute solution whereas a solution containing large amount of solute is known as concentrated solution both are relatively same terms but they differ only in quantitative meaning so let's move on to the next definition Next definition is Tyndall effect. The phenomenon by which colloidal particles scatter light is called Tyndall effect. If a beam of light is allowed to pass through a true solution, some of the light will be absorbed and some will be transmitted. To make it more clear, we should know the meaning of colloidal particles as well as what is meant by true solution. I think this will help you to understand the definitions and make it more easier. Let's discuss what is meant by true solution and colloidal solution. It's very simple. True solution is a homogeneous mixture. Homogeneous mixture is nothing but two or more substance in which substance get dissolved in solvent. And the particle sizes here is very less 10 to 9 meter or it may be like 1 nanometer. For example, sugar in water is an example of true solution and you cannot see through naked eye and it cannot be filtered using filter paper. Colloidal solution is a heterogeneous mixture in which particle size of substance is intermediate of true solution and suspension. In suspension, you can find a solute get settled down at the solvent, at the bottom of the solvent and here the particle size will be like 1 to 1000 nanometer. Smoke from a fire is an example of colloidal system. Here the tiny particles of solid float in the air. Just like true solution, you cannot see through naked eye and it can be filtered using filter paper. Let's move on with the same definitions now. The phenomenon by which colloidal particles scatter light is called Tyndall effect. Consider if a beam of light is allowed to pass through a true solution, some of the light will be absorbed and some will be transmitted. Do you know why it is? Because the particle size in true solutions are very less. It be like 10 to 9 meter or it may be max 1 nanometer. So however if the light is passed through a colloid, the light is scattered by the large colloidal particles and the beam become visible. This effect is called Tyndall effect. Let's move on to the next topic, Brownian moment. The phenomenon by which the colloidal particles are in continuous random motion is called Brownian moment. What is meant by colloidal particles? A mixture in which one substance is divided into minute particles and this minute particles moves in a continuous random motion and this motion is referred as Brownian motion and this is named after the scientist Robert Brown. He is a biologist. He observed the motion of the particles in suspension of pollen grains in water. Look at this picture. You can find the erratic motion and this is visible through a microscope of small grains suspended in a fluid. This motion results from collision between the grains and atoms or molecules in this fluid. So the phenomenon by which the colloidal particles are in continuous random motion is called Brownian moment. Discuss the most important definitions Henry's law. As we discussed earlier in the factor of solubility, increase in pressure increases the solubility of gases. Henry's law states that at a given temperature, the mass of the gas dissolved in a fixed volume of liquid is directly proportional to the pressure of the gas on the surface of the liquid. Look at this picture. In the first picture, gas molecules are not dissolved in a liquid, but when you increase Increase pressure, more gas molecules are soluble at higher pressure. So, increase in pressure increases the solubility of gases.